come out of Jeremiah 29. Uh, this is a message from the Lord to us. He says, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall you call upon me, and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. May the Lord have a rich blessing to the readers and hearers of his word. Amen. Especially the Jews. Amen.
today. We know God is able. We know He is able to do.
participation and activity. Amen. We know that the Lord is good. Amen. And, and especially when we are investing in our children. Amen. 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 And, uh, and what they're learning now, they will not forget. Amen. Amen. Right. As they grow in the Lord. Praise God. I can remember as a child, I was made to go to church. Amen. I didn't have uh, rights as they claim that children should have rights. Uh, they can say what they want, do what they want, and they can say no. Uh, I, that was not in the vocabulary coming up in my house. Amen. Uh, my mother says no, that was in there, but I didn't say, I would not say why. Oh my God, it, it, it's, it's as if I had to uh, use a profanity or something. I couldn't say why I couldn't go. She said, no, it's no. And, uh, but we thank God that uh, our young people are in the church. Amen. 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 We invest in them. Amen. And it was very good for them to participate in our aim convention. Amen. Next year, we will be looking forward to uh, getting more of them uh, uh, involved. Yes. Amen. And yes. being able to participate. And so we just give God all the glory and praise. We honor you that are on the stream, and we appreciate your support. Amen. And we are so grateful for these servants that are here. And Mother uh, Perry, we thank God for the star. Amen. And all of those, Mother Tally, amen, our district missionary. Amen. And uh, just thank God for them, Sister Carol and Sister Jill, all of them that was come out, and Sister Faye as well, and Sister Abigail, amen, and Ashley, working with our young people and coming and supporting, amen, it was a very wonderful thing, and yet we couldn't have gotten anything done, amen, at all if it wasn't for First Lady Out. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 I, I get a lot of tags on the back, and, uh, and uh, but, uh, she is the, the reason. Amen. As they say, like Jesus, the reason for the season. She is the reason of, of uh, everything being done in an excellent manner. Amen. Four things stuff. She's the one that they depend on the kind of money. And a lot of times she is behind the scenes, handling the logistics of the service of the convention. And uh, a lot of times she don't even get a chance to get in and hear the word of God. Amen. So we're coming up with an idea where we can uh, stream it and uh, put it on a phone while she is, and Sister Cassandra and the uh, finance people are there trying to um, handle the business. Amen. At the same time, get a chance to hear Amen. the word of God. Amen. We are so thankful for Everything that is done, my good brother, Elder Williams, amen. He is a, a blessing amen. 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 to the church and as well as to myself. We thank God for Mother Hillary, amen, and the angel and them coming and participating, amen. And all of you, Sister Tiny, oh my, it's just a blessing to see each of you that was able to come, amen. I want you to know that we definitely appreciate your faithfulness and your support. Thank God for Sister Clark. Amen. Amen. She is Amen. truly a tremendous blessing Amen. in our mission. And she just wears so many little hats. Amen. Right. Good things. Amen. Our secretary as well. And keeping our things in order. Amen. And this is something that is very important for the church, amen, for the work of the Lord, amen. It all pays on a vital part, amen, in your prayer, amen, for the work of the Lord to go and for the ministry to be successful, amen, amen. And I want you to know how much I appreciate each and every one of you. And, and I was thinking about that, uh, how the saints, amen, making sacrifices, uh -huh. amen, to be able to come and represent us and the church, amen, and we just 
give God all the praise. And the Lord had given me this thought, amen, and uh, I wanted to share with you this morning this word coming out of the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12. Amen, amen. I tell you, it is very important, amen, to know uh, who you are and what you are in the body of Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And coming out of 1 Corinthians, if you that can stand with me, and those who are streaming, go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12. Hallelujah. And it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12 says, For as the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I thought this morning, praise God, I've seen you awesome service that uh, supported and was able to be there. Amen. Praise God. I thought would be to say to your neighbor, amen, just say neighbor. Neighbor. What part of the body are you? We know that the body has many members. And the scripture says and that all these members have different functions. Amen. Every one of you have been blessed from birth with a gift. And that gift is to do the will of God. And so in order for you to tap into what assignment that God has already ordained on your life, you need to surrender to him. And he will reveal to you your gift and calling and where you fit in this spiritual body. Paul compared the body of Christ to a human body. Each part has a specific function yes. that is necessary to the body as a whole. Oh, bless the Lord. Yes. The parts are different, and it's different for a purpose. And in their differences, they must work together. Yes. I want you to know that the enemy shows up. Yes. He comes to church, too. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And he does not want the body to work together. That's right. Hallelujah. Christians must avoid two common errors. Uh, first, being too proud of their abilities. Uh, it doesn't matter if you can sing like a mockingbird. Uh, it does not mean if you got money, amen, uh, like Warren Buffett and, and whoever. Uh, your gift, your uh, blessings is only because of the grace of God. And we should give God all the praise and don't think that it's, everything is all you. Hallelujah. The word of God even says to be careful not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think. Uh, some folks that they don't show up on time because they want to come late. And their purpose of coming late is not that they forgot time, but they want to have that entrance so everybody can see them. See, that's a, a part of the body huh, that, that is out of order. Because if, if part of my limb, if one of my body parts doesn't show up, I come here and then I'm handicapped. Same, same. Uh, so therefore, we all work together. Uh huh. Amen. And instead of, of, of comparing, amen, ourselves to one another. And it tells us we must use our different gifts together to spread the good news of salvation. Amen. amen. We're working together. 
Amen. Amen. We need each other. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 12, verse 4 through 8. Look what it says. For as in Romans chapter 12, verse 4, it says, For as we have many members in one body, but all the members do not have the same function. Huh? My feet can't operate like my head. Or my eyes can't do what my ears are supposed to do. So we need each other to do the will of God. Huh? It's many members and they all have different functions. So we being many are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. So we support each other. Hallelujah. When you happy, I'm happy. When you are, are not happy, then I'm not happy. Huh? When you rejoice, I'm going to rejoice with you. I don't need to know what you're shouting about. The Bible says rejoice with them that rejoice. You don't know my story. You don't know what I had to go through. Huh? And just because you are able to be flying in high cotton doesn't mean everybody is flying in high cotton. So, therefore, individually, every member of one amen of another. And having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us. Look at that. That grace that comes from God. The unmerited favor. Huh? Let us use them. If prophecy, let us prophesy. In portions huh, to our faith. Hallelujah. If God has given you a gift, you do it, huh? By the move of God. You're not doing it to try to gain attention. You're not doing it to try to make yourself some great out. What I feel for these individuals who have been given a gift to share the word and to do and to prophesy and to do the will of God and building the kingdom of God. But some of them will not come to you Listen. unless you pay them. Right. Uh, somebody's in trouble. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, yes. You can go ahead and say all you want. There are a lot of, 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 of preachers, amen, and missionaries, amen, and singers and gifted individuals that God has shown favor huh, to be part of the body. And they will not come and minister to you unless you've given them some ten and fifteen or twenty-five thousand dollars. Ah, yes, I know your number because I, I I know who some of y'all is. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And, and it is it is wrong. It's wrong. Huh? According to the the word of God, that we would use. Huh? Filthy lucre in order to share the word. The Lord gave you a word for me. Yeah. And you won't come and tell me what thus said the Lord because I don't have $5,000 uh, for you to uh, pay for your airfare and your entourage. And then I can't pick you up in my uh, Volkswagen. I got to bring a Lexus or I got to come up in a uh, uh, an Escalade on them. But anyway, they're going to pull up in an Escalade huh? and, 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 and put you up in a suite in a motel. Don't look at the motel sticks. Uh, they feel embarrassed. They feel a, 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 a affected by it. But when you are part of the body, you matter. All right. Hallelujah. You are responsible. Amen. For your brother or your sister. For every member, hand cannot tell the head to have no need of you. If it wasn't for the hand, I couldn't scratch the nugget when it's itching. Huh? I can't tell the feet I have no need of him. Uh -huh. Because if it wasn't for your feet, you couldn't stand. You couldn't move. You couldn't run or jump. So we thank God for and each gift that is differing. Yet each matter that is part of the body. Yes. Hallelujah. Everybody matters. Everybody counts. God loves us all. 
Amen. And in here, we don't have differences. Uh, we don't want that. We don't want to expect me or you or somebody yeah, to be mistreated. You got to be careful how you entreat God's people. And it even says in verse 7, or ministry. Let us use it in our ministry. Huh? He who teaches in teaching. And so if you are ministering, ministering and they're always up preaching the word of God is, is helped uh, in giving food and ministering and, and helping individuals to comb some of the kids' hairs or helping them with this and working in, in the kitchen and helping to serve and sweeping up and then you see something need to be fixed, that's part of ministry. Uh, this church, uh, this is our house of uh, worship. We all have a part in here. Amen. You might not have hung the door, but that door is just as much your responsibility as the one who put it up there. Huh? We all are part of God's body. Uh, and he who exhorts in exhortation, he who gives with uh, liberally, he who leads with diligence, he who shows mercy with cheerfulness. Praise the Lord. Amen. I thank God when I when I see members will go and and, and 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 check some of the children when they're playing and, and, and carrying on when the parents are busy and active doing something else. Huh? I think that's the right thing for us to do. And I don't believe there would be a, a parent here that would be upset if another parent came and got your child and moved them and sit by me Amen. so you don't be up running and playing and talking. Huh? I think that is the right thing to do. Why? Because we all part of the family. Uh, yeah. Amen. And I, I, I bet not ever find any of mine huh, re disrespecting an adult after they have called your number. Huh? Because why? It's because the word said we're supposed to keep our feet when we're in the house of God. The word of God applies to all of us. Hallelujah. Amen. What part of the body are you? Praise God. God gives us gifts so we can build up his church. To use them effectively, we must realize that all gifts and abilities come from God. Amen. And also to understand that not everyone has the same gifts. Praise the Lord from God. Uh-huh. Amen. Know how we are huh? and what we do best. And you know what you can do best. Amen. And you ought to do it. Huh? The things and anything your hand finds to do, you want to do it. Praise the Lord. Dedicate our gift to God, service, and not to our personal success. Amen. I'm not doing this to get no pat on the back. Huh? Then come out here, amen, amen, and making the sacrifice, amen, to work uh, and to do the things that we are doing, amen, for recognition. We are doing it because we love God and we love the house of God. Amen. If I would want my natural house to be comfortable, I want the house of God That's to be it. comfortable. Amen. Huh? Amen. And I want the Lord to be uh, to bless those that come through those doors. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. Be willing to utilize your gift, your your talent, your calling. Huh? Huh? Uh, wholeheartedly, you want to put all in, not half of it. Amen. Just don't do just a little bit. Say, well, that would do. No, I want to be 100%. Amen. Amen. We are serving and we are blessing. I want to get in there and find what can I do to help. Praise the Lord. Amen. To be a part of building the kingdom of God. We don't want to hold nothing back. Amen. Anything from the service of God. Amen. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 4. Listen, it says, there is one body and one spirit. Look at that. One body and one spirit. Just 
as you were called in one hope of your calling. Praise the Lord. All believers, praise God, in Christ belong to this one body. Uh-huh. All are united under one head. Huh? Amen. Amen. And that one head is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Every believer has God-given abilities that can strengthen the whole body. That's right. Amen. We can help and one another. Hallelujah. Praise God. What part of the body? Huh? Huh? What part of the body what, do you have? Or what part of the body are you? Hallelujah. The body has approximately 10, amen, major parts. Uh-huh. It has first your feet. Yeah. Look at here. Uh-huh. And your feet lets the body stand upright. Uh, and perform activities like walking and running and jumping. Yeah. Somebody in here might be a gift is being like a foot to the body. For him, somebody for them to stand up. Yeah. Amen. And to move and to do. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. The legs that are uh, part of the body yeah. that connects to the feet. Yeah. Hallelujah. The legs is a support. The body's weight. Uh-huh. And maintain the balance. Uh -huh. You don't have no legs, you ain't gonna have balance. Right. Huh? Uh -huh. uh, things are out of order. Uh, things are out of control. Right. Amen. Things are not being able. It's, it's just falling apart. Amen. Thank God for the legs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? And not only that, the the the, the legs and, and, and the feet being connected, but also uh, the part of the body is the knees. Huh? Somebody might want to be a knee. You might that might be your gift. Huh? Of being a knee to the body of Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. And the knees help to lower and raise the body and provide stability. Hallelujah. Huh? Without knees, you can't sit down. Uh, hallelujah. You, you, and you will not be able to stand up. Praise God. That it, is, it is important to have good knees. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It allows you to get on you. You need to, to pray to the Lord. Uh, uh, so therefore, we thank God for that gift of being a knee. Amen. For allowing uh, the body to rest. Then we have the thigh. Praise God. Thank God. Amen. For the thigh that connects to the knee. And the knees that connects to the legs and the legs to the feet. And therefore the thighs allow the lower body to bend. Huh? Without the knees, the lower body is not able to bend. Praise God. Uh, uh huh. And it is flexible. Amen. And, and rotates. Uh huh. And it keeps the hips and legs in alignment. Uh-huh. Sometimes you got to have a thigh spirit. Amen. A part of the ministry to help keep everybody in line. Amen. Uh-huh. And, and the scripture says that the age women is to teach the younger women uh, how to be sober and how to live and how to treat their families and love their children and their, their, their husband. It gives them order. Amen. And, and every individual should honor and respect these saintly mothers. Amen. Amen. Keeping them in line. Uh, and then we have the hips. Praise God. Thank God for the hips. Uh, the hips which hooks to the knee. The thighs, the thigh to the knee. And the knee to the legs. And the legs to the feet. Praise God. The hips uh, is a complex structure. Uh, amen. Without hips, you're in trouble. Uh, the hips is a complex structure that provides what weight bearing and stability to the body. The hips keep things uh, balanced. It keeps you stable. Uh, whether you can lean forward and back 
backwards and right to the left and, and without even moving. Thank God for the hips. Some can be in the spiritual body as a hip to the spiritual body. Amen. Oh, praise Amen. God. It allows greater range of mobility to perform the activities of daily living. Hallelujah. Amen. You have some that operates like the hip that, that keeps everybody connected, keeps everybody in, in balance and stability. Amen. And being able to support everything that the, the legs and the knees and the feet huh, are doing. Amen. They are part of the body. Oh, look how important each part plays. Backbone or your spine. Amen. You say you don't want a backbone or a spine, you in trouble. Huh? You gonna be like a weenie just laying there. Huh? With no backbone or no spine. Uh, backbone and spine is the body's cell, it, it, it is the central support structure. Uh, it connects different parts of the upper and lower of the body. Oh, it's very important, church, that you are a part of this spiritual body. You play a vital part of keeping everybody together, keeping everybody encouraged, huh? Checking on you and seeing how you do, huh? And, and, and you need something. I'm here. You need to go. I'll take you. You are part of the body. I'm operating as a spine. I'm working like as a backbone. Uh, amen. And they connect to the lower and upper part of the body. It helps you to sit, stand, walk, twist, and bend. Oh, thank God for the hip. Amen. It's in connection with everybody. Want to support everybody. Amen. Want to be involved in everything. It's that backbone, that body. That spiritual gift, amen, that I want to be a part of what's going on to build the kingdom of God. Amen. Doesn't matter if they don't call my name. Huh? I know who I am. I'm the backbone. I'm the spine. I got the up and the Lord together. Huh? I'm always involved. I always want to make sure huh, that we all in and connected and doing what we need to do. Uh, and then we have the shoulders. Thank God for the shoulders. Uh, this is how God put us together. Uh, naturally and spiritually. The shoulders support and stabilize the most flexible joints in your body. Hallelujah. Without the shoulders. Amen. To help connect to the arms. Amen. Where you can, oh my, you in bad shape if you don't have an arm. Amen. I thank God. Amen. Amen. For the arms that connect. Amen. And that have the flexibility. Amen. Because without the arms, you wouldn't have the hands and the fingers. Amen. Thank God for the fingers on your hand. Amen. Don't play your hand cheap. Huh? If you take away your fingers, you in trouble. Huh? Because the fingers can't, the mouth can tell the hand, I don't have need of you. Because if it wasn't for the hand, you wouldn't have food put in your mouth. Oh, if it wasn't for the hand, you wouldn't have been able to hold a cup to put up to drink your water. Huh? And all of the fingers have to have cohesiveness. And, and all of the fingers on the hand have to show support to one another. Uh, the little finger can't tell the thumb, uh, you ain't part of us because you the ugliest one on the hand. Look at you, you're crooked and everything. But the thumb, is the, it, it is the stabilizer of the hand. Because the thumb is the only one that can touch all four with no problem. Without the thumb, you couldn't hold a chicken leg. Without the thumb, you couldn't hold a can of Pepsi. Listen, you ought to thank God for your part. Everybody that plays a part in your spiritual body matters and it means something. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. Amen. 
amen. And then you have the arms. The arm supports the body by carrying items, balancing, putting food and water in the body, picking up things. Sometimes you can act like the leg. Huh? The, the, the arms can, can, can help and act like the leg. You've seen them do stand, headstands and they're walking on their legs and something. They, they try to move things out huh? because you and your head can't reach it so you're going to take your foot and the leg and slide it over. It supports each other. Huh? The, the, the arm doesn't tell the leg, oh, we don't need you anymore because I can do what you do. Huh? But you are limited of what they can do. Hallelujah. Praise God. And then we are blessed with the neck. Thank God for the neck. Uh -huh. Primary function is to provide support for the head. Oh, thank God. Amen. We use bring support to the head. Uh-huh. The, and, and, and while and it's still allowing for mobility of the body and the head, the neck allows you to be able to turn, look in different directions, up and down, from side to side. Amen. We thank God for the neck. Uh-huh. And then the, the fifth, amen, the tenth and final part of that spiritual body, even your natural body, is the head. Oh, you can't go nowhere without the head. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The head contains uh, sensory organs. It contains two eyes, two ears, a nose, and a mouth. It also houses the brain. So information is processed and decisions are made. Hallelujah. You need a head. And Jesus, huh? And God is our head. For whatever he tells us to do, we as believers got to be obedient to the head and to the direction that the Lord has given. In the head, it sends messages to the feet that we need to move towards the house of God. And so therefore, the arms catch on and says that the head says, we got to do the work for the Lord. And so the message goes to the heart and the hand. And they will then put the clothes on the body. The leg goes and says, I'm going to support the knee in order to put my shoes on my feet. Hallelujah. That is sharp for the preparation of the gospel of peace. And therefore, I want you to know that the backbone, the spine, gets everybody in order. It gets everybody working at the same time, trying to accomplish something. When we here at the church, as a body of Christ, what part did you play? It's very important to get the job done. Hallelujah. In the body of Christ, what part of the body are you? Huh? Are you a supporting? Are you using your gifts and talents? Hallelujah. We want you to know God wants you, amen, to be active. He wants you to be doing what he has called you to do. You matter. You mean a lot to the church. Amen. No big eyes, no little U's. Uh-huh. You have a voice. You have a right to express. And how God has called you to do an assignment or do a work, we want to support that. Why? It's because when you are blessed, the body is blessed. Yes. Hallelujah. As you stand to your feet, oh, bless the Lord. What part of the body are you this morning? Amen. We are grateful. Amen. And we are in need. Amen. For servants. Amen. Because the Lord said that the harvest is right, but the laborers are few. Oh, gracious God, our Father, we thank you. We thank you for your servants that are here and those that are streaming. We thank you, oh God, for their uh, act of love. For you said in your word, you will not forget their labor of love. Every part of the Bible is one. When we pray, when we speak healing and speak life, 
we speak life and that the body will be blessed. Hallelujah. Oh God, we rebuke death and danger in the name of Jesus. And we give you all the glory and we all the praise. Not one body, not one member of the body is to ever feel that they don't matter. But they do because they are your servants. And your word backs it up and you said, if you fit the least one of mine, you offended him and you said, vengeance is yours. And we thank you. This we ask in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We are so thankful. Amen. For all of you who have been online and been streaming, we thank you for your financial blessings. Amen. That you were given through the social media, whether it's Givelify or Cash App or if you've been using the square or even if you've been smelling your, your gift of love. We want you to know, first lady, I to myself, is very appreciative of what you are doing for the church, for the building of the kingdom of God. Thank you so much. Amen. And whatever you do, hallelujah.